can you believe this? I told you that when I get depressed, I start chopping at my hair. So a couple nights ago, I um, started thinking of 80s rock bands. You know how they had it real short and spiky on top with long. I think to myself, how hard can that be? After um, cutting like a layer that was way too short, way, way too short, I tried to, um, I don't know, I, I went to one of those schools and said, can you do anything besides, you know. So we were thinking about making it short, and you know what, this is not about my hair really. It's about the fact that I've been hit with, I don't know, I don't know if I broke a mirror and I've got seven years bad luck coming to me or I'm just going through a series of unfortunate events. And now to add to everything else that has been going on in my life, I woke up this morning at about 6.30, I'm the first one up and there were um, all these puddles and yes, they were puddles of poo and puke. One of my dogs was very sick and I assumed it was the older one who's been having a lot of trouble. For so many years, life just kind of rolled in my favor, you know? It's, everything has changed so much. And at some point in the future, I will look back at what I'm going through now. And I'll know that that which didn't kill me made me stronger. And, and it's not just about me. Um, there have been many events that happened in my life, many things that happened in my life, but they were things that I thought to myself, I'll never be able to acquire that or attain that, whether it be a certain weight or whether it be sobriety or whether it be to be a non-smoker. Um, when I was in the depths of the problem, I couldn't foresee um, how realistically I can get from here to there. But I prayed to God, and, and my God has always, my concept of my God, my relationship with my image of my God, um, has always gotten me there. Maybe not easily, maybe not right away, but eventually when I attain that which I thought was unattainable, thank you, God. Because of all these real-life, hardcore situations going on, I am ever so present in the now. You know, I've been falling, and I know I've been falling, and it seems at times that I'm gliding, but I'm getting closer and closer to that bottom now. And, and the closer I get to the bottom, the faster I'm dropping, if you know what I mean. Again, I have to believe the net is going to be there to cushion my fall. God has taken me through many situations. And God has also been a trickster God in my life. But I don't think this is one of those moments. I really do think it's to bring me back to faith. Not that I ever lost faith, but I lost sight. Um, I've made obsessions my God of, of choice. And we know that obsessions can't replace the real God.